19-year-old Alahan Abdullayev. And a terrific tournament so far. See Dubai in the first preliminary round. Eliminated the tournament number eight seed, the man from Serbia. And now, we got the quarter final stage. Progress from here to the semi finals. Senoras, Lutando do Brasil, Montenegro, over Zhao of China. His opponent. The boxing up on the stage before making his way down the steps is Wanderlei de Souza Pereira, 22 years of age from Brazil, 2022 Brazil national champion, competing in his first global IBO World Boxing Championship. 495 here at your IB event. World Boxing Championship semi-finals. Your five judges being represented here tonight from ringside, Zimbabwe, Mongolia, Algeria, Argentina, and Estonia. And when the action begins, we your referee in the center of the ring by the bell, representing the IBA by way of Azerbaijan with referee Anar Mohamed Ali. then 75 kilogram middleweight action at the semi-final stage between boxers from Uzbekistan and Brazil. The South Pole wearing red who's just looking for a long left hand to the body. Alahan Abdullayev. Just 19 years of age comes to the ring as the reigning continental under 22 championship gold medalist champion of Uzbekistan as well, terrifically talented teenager, his opponent operating out of the orthodox stance, the two men just fencing with their lead hands is Wanderlei de Souza Pereira, 22 years of age, coming into this tournament on the back of a magnificent multi-nations win of the Belgrade tournament, up at light heavyweight. So a minute gone in this opening round. Pereira eliminating a man from Kazakhstan in the round of 16. Unanimous point decision victory as well to eliminate Raiz. Two men offering relaxed guards as they continue to faint and fence with their lead hands. Nice backhand landed from Pereira, but then a southpaw left just pecked home from Abdullaya. <laughs> Terrific punch picking off the back foot from Abdullaya for a clipping hook was landed by Pereira. Now the heads have come together. Bad body language coming from Abdullayev. Checking whether his nose was damaged. Slapping left hand and landed by Pereira once again. Oh, beautifully picked right hand from Pereira. Then a right hand to the body. And out of that relaxed, low-held guard as Abdullayev comes back with a left hand to the body of his own. These two free-flowing fluid boxes as another right hand lands around the corner. This one with a bent arm from Pereira. But again, if we're going to box in this type of fashion with the hands down, trusting the reflexes, it does leave the chin as an open target. Pereira found the range effectively during that earlier portion of the round. Nice job shooting from Abdullayev. Pereira scoring with a straight right hand to the body. Looking for the same shot once again. Abdullayev, closing seconds of this opening round where both men have enjoyed success with eye-catching shots. Fantastic opening three minutes. Two flashy fighters. Each 
enjoying success in their preferred territories. This round could well be split, because again, each boxer had their moments. Again, look at some of the eye-catching right hands that Pereira was able to land. Very close round indeed. And that is reflected on the scorecard. 10-9, 3-2 in favor of Abdullayev. The judges from Argentina and Estonia, 4-5, and five, preferring the work of Pereira. So into the second round then, and look at that battle for territory between the front feet of the orthodox and southpaw boxer, left hand landed by the southpaw, Pereira comes back with a right hand to the body, as both boxers holding their feet now, and continuing to proffer low held guards, but getting off first during that trade off, enjoying first and third boxing was Abdullayev. And such is the respect that these two boxers have for one another that they're acknowledging the success that their opponents are having. But look at the gap between them. Minimal. Both boxers fighting for territory with their front feet. And that is so crucial in the orthodox and southpaw battle that we have on our hands here. The box, oh, that's a nice left hand landed by Abdullayev. But the boxer who gets his foot on the outside is effectively controlling the space that the boxer with his foot on the inside has to move into. But Abdullayev in the first minute, that's getting the better of what have been scintillating trade-offs between these two loose-limbed, flashy operators. When you see boxers like this, it's akin to watching someone up on a tightrope because they always appear to be flirting with danger. But again, let's not get it twisted to reach the status of securing a vest from the emerging boxing, from the emerging Iber boxing nation of Brazil, or the powerhouse boxing nation of Uzbekistan, to rise to that level, you can guarantee that these guys would have been boxing this way practically from the moment they entered the gym. Pereira with some terrific movement in the pocket to make Abdullayev miss. And just engaging in a bit of conversation, okay, we've had our breather, push off, let's not hit on the break, and here we go again beyond the midpoint of this second round and this one being boxed in a wonderful spirit between two men well it, especially given it's orthodox in southport it's almost like boxing in a mirror because they are so similar in the manner in which they go about their craft right hand sneaks its way through from Pereira with his left hand but then getting through the southpaw right was Abdullayev's terrific shot from the man in red backhand success Pereira keeps the attack going lands with his orthodox right hand and again Abdullayev celebrating his success but Pereira remaining in the pocket and again they have that style where they look to counter oh beautifully picked right hand from Pereira timed his man and crashed it home. There's the same shot once again. Abdullayev, aware of the fact that Pereira's just then got enjoyed a good portion of the round. He gets through the southpaw left, closing seconds of what has been an incredibly intense and competitive second round. My goodness. Remember, the first round was a 3-2 split in favor of this man. As the event coach gets to work with that towel, he'll wring it out and now start to cool his boxer down by flapping it furiously. Similar motion being proffered in the Brazilian, Brazilian's corner, but what a three minutes of boxing we've just witnessed. Far more movements using all space of the ring. In the opening round, in the second round, both boxers holding their feet and fighting for that territory to get their lead foot on the outside. How has the second round been scored? And again, it's incredibly competitive. Split scores once again. 3-2 in favor of the man from Brazil. So that has given us two scorecards deadlocked. 
excuse me, three scorecards deadlocked at 19 points apiece and 2018 each way on the scorecards of judges one and four. So it has all come down to the final three minutes and those scores an accurate reflection of what has transpired over the first two rounds because there is so little between these two boxes. Remember, the scorecards of judges two, three, and five are deadlocked at 19 points apiece after six minutes of boxing. And in the event that we have a 2-3 three or 3-2 three scorecard returned, we will have an automatic bout review where the two external observers will put their scorecards down and they will have been scoring the bout as it takes place as well. The review doesn't have to be launched by a team as in days of yore. And remember, Imar Krevlev removed the fee when that was the case because before teams had to pay a fee to launch an appeal, which obviously favours more well-resourced nations and they're only limited to three appeals per tournament. Beautifully picked right hand from Pereira and he celebrates that by flashing that gum shield. Right hand to the bodies, an eye-catching shot from the man in blue. Pecking away upstairs with his backhand as was Abdullayev, but neither man was accurate. And again, why I mentioned the review process, which will be implemented if it's 3-2 or 2-3. Success upstairs and downstairs from Pereira, punctuated by success to the, through the middle upstairs from Abdullayev. Left hand partially bought by the glove. Good defense from Pereira to ward off that backhand from Abdullayev. But the manner in which this contest has been boxed so far suggests that we could well face a 3-2 split in this one. Three scorecards, 19 points apiece, 2018 each way for judges one and four. Beautifully picked right hand from Abdullayev out of that south poor stance. Pereira comes back and both men showing terrific conditioning because the fainting and the fast twitch movements that they're producing, well, that takes an awful lot of energy. Beautiful left, right from Pereira as he continues to twitch and faint in the pocket. So too Abdullayev, but he's inaccurate. And then as he missed, just stealing a glance to his corner, as Pereira back on the front foot as the shaping continues in the road to Reno, the boxing ring. Terrific backhands landed by both men, but Abdullayev's had more pop on it. Pereira looking for success to the body. Inaccurate from both men during that coming together. Closing seconds of a contest that has been nip and tuck all the way. Pereira looking to get on the front foot. The 10 second clapper has sounded, though it's barely audible here. Right hand success with a clipping shot from Pereira. Then a corkscrew left hand. Abdullayev comes back with a right drive of his own, but the final shot landed is a right cross from Pereira. And that success in the closing moments could well be decisive in determining the outcome of this contest. But which way is it going to go? Because there was practically nothing between these boxes over the course of nine minutes of incredible quality. A reminder that going into the final round, we had scores of 19 points apiece for three of the five scoring judges. 2018 each way. I happen to think that Pereira has done enough to take that final round, but what say the five judges? This one could be incredibly tight. Pereira has prevailed on a 4-1 split, which means that he has swept the final round unanimously. And I said it as it unfolded, but that final moment of quality in the final 15 seconds or so could well have been crucial in seeing Wanderlei de Souza Pereira declared the victor and he will go through to contest middleweight gold in the 75 kilogram division. A magnificent performance for the man from Brazil. As for Alahan Abdullayev, well, remember, he is just.